Hi, welcome to Agile Logics. In this video, we will set up a dealer locator app for WordPress website. A dealer locator app is a valuable app for businesses with physical locations, as it helps customers find the nearest store and ultimately boost your sales. We'll be using Agile Store Locator to demonstrate how you can set up an effective store locator. It's a pro version, but it also offers a free version with some limitations. So let's get started with the installation of the plugin. For that, let's go to the WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, upload the plugin, choose file, choose agile store locator zip, and install it. Activate the plugin. So now the plugin is installed, you'll see a store locator in the menu. Let's add the short code of the plugin. For that, pages, add new, I'll name it dealer locator and write the short code which is ASL underscore store locator, publish the page. So we have a store locator or maybe the dealer locator is appearing with some dummy data which is pre-installed. So let's tweak it based on our needs. For that let's go to the admin again. Go to the ASL settings of the plugin. So the first setting is we need to apply a Google Maps API key. There is need of two API keys. First is the public and this one is the private. I will not cover as a link is given in the description of the video. Based on that, you can generate your own API keys. I will copy paste my keys. Once I paste my keys, I will save it. Refresh the page and you notice that the maps is appearing just fine. So let's tweak a few more things for the store locator. For example, let's remove this pop-up that appears over the map. For that, ASL settings, general, geolocation, you can disable it from here. Select disable. A few more settings that need to be configured. The most basic is the default coordinates, which is the default location on which the map will appear. You can change it. Click on the change button. Choose the location where you want it to appear, like New York. Choose it. You can adjust the pinpoint accuracy and the zoom level from here. I'll zoom it out use default location click over this button and save the settings checked first one is the sort list which is by default set to distance and here we have a store limit that we can apply like if we have thousands of stores we can show a limited number of stores like 50 or 100 Another setting is related to the button, like we want to change the button that's appearing over here to a search button or maybe a geolocation button. A more useful setting is about restricting the search, like if we just want to restrict our search to US, we can type over here US. It also supports multiple countries by comma separation. Another setting is about analytics like if we enal enable this analytics the analytics of stores and the searches will appear on the dashboard of the plugin in the maps tab we can choose the maps layout like if we choose this one we can also create our own custom maps and select this one and paste the generated JSON you can use this help link about the guide and paste it the generated JSON over here and save the settings. I'll 
just choose this one for now save settings let's test this one here we have now the third part is about importing our stores for that we have import and export stores first i will delete all the dummy data delete all i have a csv file in my google sheets here's the csv file which has the basic columns like street city state and the title it also has let lng if you don't have these columns don't worry the plugin import process will import it a few more useful settings that can be like categories you can apply categories and they will be created itself during import process now let's import the csv file upload the file deal upload and now press the import button as you can see that 64 rows have been imported let's check this in the manage stores here we have 64 rows now let's uh, refresh this and see on the front end here we have our 64 stores appearing the next setting is about how we can change the markers of this for that go to the manage markers here we have default marker which we can replace edit it we can apply a marker based on our theme I'll upload a green one the marker has been changed let's refresh it here we have the changes so the next setting is about styling let's try to style it a bit more about our theme for that go to the ASL settings UI settings here we can choose multiple templates I'll choose the first one which is template one save it let's test it here our theme has been changed now let's style this theme based on our site colors for that we'll go back to the ASL settings UI customizer choose a template which we are using template one I'll apply the theme color green save it let's test this one and our site is showing the show locator with the same colors so now let's try to change a few labels like the search location and enter location for that we'll go back to ASL settings from the label sections make sure to enable these labels save settings type it search location I'll write it search a dealer another word is like enter location we'll change it to enter your zip code let's refresh and see the changes here we have the changes so now one more thing is that let's add a search widget that will redirect to this store locator page here we have our demo I have a section over here let's add over here edit the page edit it move to that portion here we'll write the short code for the search widget which is ASL underscore search I'll just copy it 
Here we have the redirect URL which is dealer locator and the button color that will appear. Update it and see the changes. Here we have this search widget. Let's test the search widget like the address we have entered New York 1003 New York. Search over it. And you can see that that search has been redirected to the dealer locator page and it's showing the result over here based from the home page to this locator page. Now one more thing that we can do that is add a call to action button over here for that go back to the ASL settings under the store detail detail page tab make sure to select website field and in the UI section enable this website link and save it make sure that your stores have the website fields data under it like this field it need to be populated now let's refresh our store locator or dealer locator and we have the call to action button that's it thank you for watching if you like our video please subscribe to our channel goodbye